Hi, I have some flea market finds here for you. Yes, most of them are um, designers. I have, um, I actually found three Gucci's, one Salvatore Ferragamo, one Dior, um, three Mark by Mark Jacobs, uh, a coach, and a a fake Sandy, but uh, I'm going to um, do an art project and I'm going to chop that uh, all up <laughs> and um, do some arts and crafts. But anyway, it's still here. I decided to uh, just do one uh, video, including some of the, you know, uh, jewelries that uh, I found from the flea market. And I roughly spent like $400 on all of these. So call me crazy. I don't know if... Um, I got some good deals, but uh, anyway, uh, that was silly of me. Next time, I'm not going to bring a lot of money because I, I took $600 worth with me and my husband was like, are you crazy? What are you going to do with $600? I mean, you're just going to the flea market. And uh, yeah, but anyway, I think I found some good stuff and some are just uh, re remorse buy. <laughs> but uh, anyway, okay, so let's get on with the... Um, uh, notable ones first. I found three Gucci's there, but only one Gucci bag. And I have this uh, vintage letter opener. And my son is wearing the vintage Gigi Gold buckle logo, enameling in red and green. And uh, um, it's a very, very elusive buckle because I've been researching the internet. And um, I think I on only saw... Uh, one, it's uh, the Gigi um, enameled uh, buckle and it's vintage. The vendor told me that her ex-husband, well, well, she was uh, she was quite old already, used to collect uh, Gucci. So she has this. Okay, so let me start off with this. This is a letter opener. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. Oh, who opens letters? I mean... We don't even get letters anymore, you know. Well, there's a lot of junk mail, but anyway, um, <laughs> it's just great <laughs> to have have in my collection. I think I'm just gonna sell this. I don't know. I bought this for fifty bucks. She was asking for um, seventy five. And I said, well, I'm not willing to spend that much if it's just going to stay in my curio because she asked me if I have a curio, curio uh, to store my uh, collectibles. And I said, um, it's a cabinet. <laughs> it's, it's a display cabinet. That's what I have. But anyway, if I told her, if you give me that for 50 bucks, then I'm going to get it. So I'm not sure if I got a good deal on this one. I really don't know what to do with this. But... Uh, I don't know. Anyway, this is it. It's uh, the GG with the uh, enameling. And I know, I, I'm not sure if this is gold plated. It is very, very shiny, guys. It's very, very shiny. And it says uh, Gucci Italy. So this is a vintage uh, leather opener. And the Gigi buckle belt that I have, um, my son has been pestering me to buy him a Gucci belt. And I know they cost like $300 for, I think... 200 to 300 dollars because i've looked at looked them up so i said um i i saw the buckle is big i think i'm gonna show it to you next time because he is wearing he's been wearing it since saturday and um uh, it's a vintage type so um yeah i'm gonna show it to you next time and i bought that for 35 bucks just the buckle it wasn't a belt it was just a buckle this one was 50 dollars all right and this is an this is a vintage uh, gucci floral clutch i know that they're coming back again and um as with vintage gucci bags the problem is the inside peels off but you can have it repaired um, my repair guy actually has repaired a lot of Gucci's and, but I don't want that, you know, I want its uh, original state, <laughs> but anyway, I'm not gonna, um, I'm not sure, but anyway, this has like a patina already. It's a floral clutch. It's really, really nice. I'm not sure if, if this is supposed to be white or yellow because there's like, I like the yellowing. It's like, it's like the ivory piano, you know, it's it's quite yellow now, but it's really, really beautiful. And um, yeah, so here it is. I love the design. This is a poinsettia. Okay, I love the design. And uh, the, the straps are missing. 
and uh, but anyway i can just improvise a strap or this i can use this as a clutch you can just put the straps here and that's what it's missing so it's beautiful guys it's beautiful and i know that gucci is already reintroducing you know their their old style so this is gucci made in italy and it has the serial number there and it's not in a very very sorry state it's it's okay but as expected of vintage gucci you know the lining their lining is really really crappy <laughs> so um the repair guy told me oh that's the problem with v vintage gucci i have a lot of vintage gucci's here and i had he had to repair um the lining but he had he said he, he reattaches these things as well so yeah there's just a bit of peeling there and it's beautiful it's beautiful i'm thinking of maybe um using some other straps or a gold maybe i'll look for a gold strap for my for this gucci or i'll just wear it like this it's beautiful as it is okay now i found another dior okay and in the trotter style and this um this is really really vintage and um i also bought some um books antique books all right oh jeez. okay i can't open it all right so this is the trotter what's wrong jeez sorry all right there you go so this is in absolutely um nice condition but the one from last week that i bought is even better this one is okay it's okay it's just that uh the made the christian dior made in france is a bit fa faded here but still you know there are no there are no major uh wit or tear or you know it's beautiful it's beautiful and um this design or this print is really really you know very popular right now okay and i also got um a mark by mark jacobs um it's like a wallet i mean a uh, grained wallet and i like it it's super super soft it's very very soft it's newish so um i bought it okay and there's another um uh, uh, ferragamo wallet here it's like a zip zip around wallet it's a bit um it's a bit uh, old but uh, the inside is absolutely new. It says they're Ferragamo made in Italy. And it's newish actually. It's just the outside that shows some surface wear. See? So, yeah. I like it. It's, it's very, very nice. But look at the zipper. I don't know if um, I have to put shout to make it white. Oh, I'm not sure, but th that's fine. That's okay. All right. Now, this is... Um, this is this was very very cheap <laughs> i only got this for five bucks so uh, so of all my purchases this was one that was really a bargain it was a two day of two day flea market i already saw this on a saturday but the vendor was out so uh, yesterday i went again and uh, it was still there so i said okay how much do you want this for it i like it because it's like the mark jacob style um uh, multi-pocket but uh, i like it because it's like denim it's like denim guys and um yeah it's uh i've never seen a a, a dune and burke um this uh this style it's like a boston st style and um yeah it's 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 quite uh it, there's just uh some staining there that you can uh bring it to uh, i've already cleaned this to the best of <laughs> my ability but i think you know it's better it's better off if i send it to the dry cleaner so but it's really really good it's in good shape there are no scuffings and it really really duny and burke bags i do uh, um really i'm impressed with the craftsmanship actually um they're they're really really good so i said okay i can i can buy this and give it to somebody else you know okay and this was one of uh, it was only five bucks guys and this is um is a straw bag or a wicker bag with uh, croc embossed um leather trimmings and handles and it's by brahmin so there you go 
there you go i just i just bought it because it was cheap so i said okay i could always and it's new and it's new which i don't see anywhere at all the uh, look at that it was like it's never been used so and i could still smell the Mm, see, I could still smell. Th these bags have already been, you know, sa uh, sanitized by me. All right. And this is another bag. This is by Mark. It's a turn lock style. It's, this is a very, very nice satchel. It's super, super soft. Mark by Mark Jacobs. I've owned a lot of Mark and Mark by Mark Jacobs handbags. And I don't know why. I don't use them at all. So I ended up um, gifting them to my son's uh, teachers. And I bought them from Barney's. And um, yeah. But anyway. Uh, yeah. So this is a black leather. It's a black leather. It's super, super squishy. It's very, very soft. And um, yeah. The leather is very, very new. And you could still smell it. Yeah. It's see it's really really nice this has like a chloe style of um uh uh bottom all right so so i like it it's in a silver tone hardware and uh yeah all right so okay let me see this was uh i don't know if uh this is a good buy. I only bought it for 50 bucks. But I, I just love, love. And it's not the annoying coach. It's not the annoying CC coach that you see. Although they are reintroducing that monogram pattern again. But um, I just like this because it's in teal blue. It, it reminds me of my, of my teal blue Bulgari. And, uh, you know, with coach bags, uh, you can be rough with them. And... Um, and uh, they will stay nice. Unlike the Bulgari, it has a lot of scuffs. This one, uh, this is newish, by the way. I bought this new. And um, it just has, of course, uh, some handling issues. But uh, this, was, this bag was never worn. And it still has the tags here. You see how newish it is. Yeah, it has the tag, and I plan to use this. It's just so cute, and the price, the tag, and it still, mm, it still smells really, really, really good. And the price tag, this was from the factory outlet. It was $289.99 from the factory outlet. All right, so it has everything there. It has never been used, and I bought it for 50 bucks. I said, okay. I'm going to get that because I'm going to give, I might give it to my uh, son's uh, bus driver. <laughs> she's, she's a funny lady. So um, we'll see. Or I might use it. It's really, really nice. It comes with, with uh, the uh, dust bag, but I have it downstairs. All right. So this was one, okay, of my favorite items because this is a vintage bag. When I saw it, I was like, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. And this is um, relatively large comparing to, you know, the, uh, the usual uh, size of uh, the vintage bags. This is big. It's like 13 inches. And I like it because I put some tissue paper here. It's absolutely new, but I, I've, since I've, brushed them and washed them no not washed <laughs> sanitized i had to put some tissue paper to dry it a bit and it's but this won't go through my shoulders this is meant to be handheld or in the crook of your arm just like this it's a very very ladylike and i just like the p pattern and uh she said 25 bucks i said really uh, and I've seen them on eBay and they're a bit cheaper, but I said, I like it. I like it. The condition it's in, it's very, very new. And this is an, a 1950s or six, 1950s and 1960s bag. And it came with a, a mirror and a, I don't know if this was part of it, but it came with this. And then my husband was teasing me. Come on, go on, go on. Uh, use that on your hair. <laughs> Some old woman <laughs> had used it. But it's beautiful. It's like velvet. No, it's not velvet. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh... Dolce & Gabbana has some like vintage inspired bags that are, you know, either like this or with a lot of, uh, you know, flowers and things like that. Detailing. I love it. I love it. 
but I could probably squeeze this in my shoulder. So, yeah. All right. Okay. This I did not get from there, but I got the bugs from there, the insects. Okay. So this was only three bucks from another thrift shop. Uh, I think a month ago and it's by Christian of Italy it's this is my second Christian Italy vintage bag it's really really gorgeous inside and out so it looks like those um it looks like was it not Gucci uh it's like Celine Celine uh, Celine uh, style uh, vintage bag and it's pure leather and if it's made in Italy it's good enough for me all right so these because uh, you know there's an infestation of gucci uh decorated with bugs right they're bags and they are very very expensive like two thousand dollars for their marmont and some 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 are backpacks and things like that so when i saw these these that were being sold over there i was like hmm, maybe i'll experiment on that so they were one dollar each regardless of size this it's a basic butterfly was also one dollars i paid i think 16 dollars because i had two more two for my son because he said he he likes those and i'm like why is it expensive because he had a ton of them she had a ton of them but she was going to charge me 65 dollars for because it, she had some other uh designs and i said 65 dollars i said no i'm just gonna stick it on my bag and I'm just going to do arts and crafts. I said, I'm not willing to pay $65 just for arts and crafts. I said, I'm just going to get these. So, so if this was inspired by the Gucci infested, uh, bug infested bag. Okay. So I just, uh, I have a wasp. I'm not sure if that's, that's a hornet or a wasp and some different species of butterflies, different designs. And this one is a bee. Of course, Gucci has this bee here, right? And this one is a dragonfly, 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 dragonfly. So uh, I love it. So yeah, so it's it's very very unique. This so this is my own interpretation of Gucci. So I just glued it yesterday, and yeah. All right. So this is my fake Fendi. I bought it for ten dollars. What was I thinking? Uh, but anyway, it's a good it's a good fake. It's a good fake. It it um it feels uh, really really thick and nice but there are no serial number inside but what i plan to do is i'm gonna cut it this up and uh, use this ff on uh to cover a box so isn't that silly i paid 10 bucks for this just to cover a box just to get this f and now i don't know how i'm gonna tear it up because i think i will need a uh, big big scissors on this one all right now um yay okay so we're finally getting there okay this was only um it has some it's three box it's um it's milor of italy and i said okay i like it it's nice it's only three box i mean it's it's a woven thing and it's by milor italy there's there's some uh uh how do you call it um discoloration but it's not really really obvious unless you you know i think this is uh stainless steel no it's not stainless steel it could be a uh, bronze bronze milor italy all right okay i, I keep seeing them in, on tj maxx actually and this is a very very cute uh bug because initially i i i wanted this for my for my bag and i think it's missing two bits here so i said it's missing something there and then the woman said you know what it's not missing anything there but when i showed it to my husband she said he said to me that i there are two missing bits here anyway these are just itsy bitsy things it's still lovely though i think i'm gonna uh let me see if i put it here this is by Marvella, by the way. <laughs> Ladybug. I don't know. Maybe it's going to go out of place. Ah, I think I'll just use that. Okay, and here it is. This is a compact. I love the design here. It's just so antique looking. But I know this is not antique. This is just vintage. Because antique is 100 years old. This is Stratton by... Uh, made in England, Stratton, they made compact, so, um, yeah. So, there, it's really, really nice. I'd like to expand my collection to these things, because I also, I, I, I have Florenza of Italy, but then, 
I just don't have um, I don't know where I'm gonna show them all <laughs> okay but it's really really nice so I'm not sure uh, how they did this this is like uh, enameling no it's not enameling it's painted really really nice and the back is uh, very nice okay who uses compact you know I've never used compact in my you know for a long time and this one is a very very gar uh, it's it's just very cute I love this I love this and I only bought it for seven bucks and it's a designer stamped um vintage designer stamped yeah and I wore this yesterday to church and it was a head turner everyone was asking me what did you get that it's so pretty so pretty and the last two I have are um these two rings okay I've made them I've made a boo-boo this is by Jomas, and Jomas, um, they made really sensible um, vintage uh, jewelry, especially their um, rings. I have another Jomas ring, but I had the boo-boo here because I, I took it off and then it fell off. I dropped it and no, it's chipped. So I don't know how to fix that. So it's really, really chipped. So that was silly of me. I paid 12 bucks for this and I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. She was asking for 25 for this. I really, really love it. It's just missing some enameling here, but it's not obvious. Um, but now it's really, really bad. And this ring, this ring is just so cute. It's coral. It's like coral and it's just intricately um, carved. So I'm like, I love it. I love it. But, uh, yeah, so I spent less than $400 on all of these. So I don't know if uh, if ever I decide to sell one of them, I don't know if I'm going to get my money back. I don't think so. <laughs> but anyway, I had fun. And, um, yeah, I had fun. Next time, I will try to be more sensible. So, um, yeah, so this is... Uh, a project all right so oh there you go let me know if i had a good deal on these or not because uh, i'm just gonna gift some of them and uh, i'm not sure but i uh, i'm gonna try to um use a coach bag all right okay bye